Lee, they love to apply almost suffocating pressure based on the lineup. Do you expect the same approach today? Yeah, I think so, Derek. It makes it really difficult for the opponents to find their rhythm unless their touch is absolutely perfect. It forces mistakes, so I'd expect we'll be seeing plenty of that from them today. is what they'll be up against today a standard 4-4-2 a formation you know well from your playing days Lee yeah I like this formation Derek it's very very important that when they haven't got the ball they all stick together very solid look about it when they don't have the ball very important that they stay close together in midfield the back four will link across the width of the pitch but they've got to help the forwards the two up front sí, need sí, width an attractive match in store, and it's Inter who get the game underway. Brozovic. Vidal. Federico Chiesa, Rabio, Cristiano Ronaldo. And getting the ball forward. And back with Dybala, and he's broken free. There it is. How about that for starters? Well, what a huge moment that might be for this club. The fans are going absolutely wild. Well, here is the replay, and to be fair, the keeper from that distance hasn't got much chance of keeping it out. Lovely goal. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? Well, Inter get the ball rolling again. It's going to be interesting to see whether or not that goal stings them into action. And he keeps going. And he's taken it away. And close, but offside nonetheless. Martinez. Ivan Perisic. Brozovic. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. De Ligt relentless high pressing free kick awarded then by the referee Danilo Dybala just couldn't keep the ball. Brozovic. Varela has it. Lukaku. Martinez. The referee spotted the infringement, and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. And the free kick caught cleanly by the keeper. Cristiano Ronaldo. Dybala. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? And the referee has determined that that is a bookable offence. I don't think he can think anything else after that challenge. Well, dealt with that ball comfortably. 
Lukaku. Good use of advantage by the referee. Ivan Perisic. And that pass could be troublesome. He might profit from here, you know. It's still alive. Well, threat averted. Dybala. No, not the best challenge. Keeper did his job to begin with. Well, as we see, Inter in control of possession here. However, after that, the coach will be disappointed with what they've produced. They need to be a little bit more clinical in front of goal. Dybala. Artur. What an important piece of defending. Alessandro Bastoni. Brozovic. Romelu Lukaku now, racing forward, trying to catch them out. And now Perisic. And he read it superbly. Radio. The first half here comes to an end. Two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Weston McKenney. It's with Dybala. Well, it's one pass after another. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Foul there. Free kick awarded. Well, that could be his final rebuke, I think, and the referee's making that absolutely clear. Well, I like that, Derek. Good refereeing. Nice and strong. Told the player exactly what he was thinking. Federico Chiesa. How about the cross? Chance for Dybala. And there it is! A two-goal cushion now. And just look at these fans. The trophy coming their way, surely. Well, here's the replay. It's a very neat piece of deception to get past the defender. And then from that sort of range, he's never going to miss that. Easy finish in the end. Well, they've been poor all day, Derek. And your sense there's going to be a rollicking in that dressing room after the game. Well, a second goal for them here. Assegno la formazione ospite con il numero 10, Paolo Di Bala. Federico Chiesa. Here's Ronaldo. Plenty of options. Artur. Now Quadrado. Dybala. And he's broken free. And a goal to increase their advantage to three. Can they be stopped? As we can see, right place at the right time. Striker's instinct is to be there or thereabouts. Keeper has no chance. Well, let's have another view of that goal. And as they restart the game, it's fair to say the gulf in quality between the two sides has been huge. Vidal, Martinez. And they've given him too much space. And it's Perisic cutting inside. 
and putting his body on the line. Pesca della panchina, l'allenatore dell'Inter con questo cambio. Fuori con il numero 14, Ivan Perisic. In campo con il numero 15. So the corner played into the box. A decisive clearance it was. Quadrado. Dybala. Weston McKenney. So a throw in here. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Hakimi. Hakimi, Eriksson, Brozovic. Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. Fifteen minutes remaining. Martinez. A chance maybe from the wide position. And he's through here. And able to close down the shots. Moving the ball nicely, looking for that final pass. Oh, a moment of pure class! Had to catch it perfectly, and did it he just? Well, as we see again, that's how to score goals. Get the ball into the box in wide areas, and then he does well to read the flight of the ball, doesn't he? Just cushions it beyond the keeper in the end, and that seems to catch him off guard. Nice finish. No shortage of goals in this match. 3-1. Only 10 minutes remaining here. Radio. Ramsey has it. Dybala Ronaldo striding for now he could be in hot water here having already been booked and it's a second yellow card the referee has dismissed him well he's on a booking what's he doing making a challenge like that substitution time it is here Uh, the keeper completely untroubled. Eriksson. Hakimi. Inter have given away possession. Ronaldo. Inter with the ball once more. We've been waiting to find out. Now we know a minimum of three added minutes here. And the defender coming out on top against Lukaku. Tremendous challenge. De Frey. It's with Kolarov. And the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. And Lee, memory 